That changed. Howdy. Howdy. Tonight we're playing Zombicide Black Plague again. This. Come on. Howdy. This time we're playing Zombicide Black Plague. Howdy. Tonight we're playing Zombicide Black Plague again. This time the mission is Quest 9, The Hellhole. Reach the objectives in this order to win the game. Gather them all in one place. Get all the spawn zones on the board in the hellhole. The zone marked on tile 1V. Check the Necromancer rules, page 29. 2. Call upon the dragon. Create dragon fire in the hellhole. So we have to get all the spawn zones in this room. And then we have to torch that spawn zone. But we can't get too many spawn zones on the board because we'll lose the game, so we got to be careful. Howdy. Tonight we're playing Zombicide Black Plague again. This time we're on Quest 9, the Hellhole. Objectives. Reach the objectives in this order to win the game. Gather them all in one place. Get all the spawn zones on the board in the hellhole. The zone marked uh, the zone marked of tile 1B. Check the necromancer rules, page 29, so we have to get all the spawn zones on the entire board into this building, so into this room. Step two, call upon a dragon. Create dragon fire in the hellhole. Special rules. That's the way we do alchemy. Each objective gives five experience to the viber who takes it. It also allows the player to look for the Dragon Bio card in the equipment deck and give it to the survivor for free. If there are no Dragon Bio cards in the equipment deck, look in the discard pile. Shuffle the equipment deck afterwards. So we can go look for the Dragon Bio really easy. We're still going to need a torch. My goal this game is not to level up. I know I always go for that, but I'm really going to try not to level up because I don't want any abominations spawning over here. So what we're planning to do is get into this building as early as possible because if a necromancer spawns here, he can't leave. So the only spawn zone he can go to is this one, so he'd make a spawn zone permanent automatically. So I want to get into this room immediately. My goal is to pop this building, continue to search a whole lot, find the torch, find the bile, then finish the mission. Anytime a necro spawns, they're going to have to go from here or here for the shortest path to get to this room. So we're already going to be waiting for them. I don't plan on spawning things that do not need to be spawned. So hopefully, I'm planning on going here, here, open this door to catch the necromancers that are passing back and forth. I'm hoping for this to be a really quick mission. Alright, I'm going to start off activating. This is my first character. The lighting's not real great this time. I, I tried a new lighting. I tried my, doing my lighting a little differently, and I know the card's not coming out as good as they usually do. So I may have to go back to how I was doing lighting before. So Isabel is going to go ahead and activate. She's going to pop open this door for free. That's her first action. It makes one sound. So I put a sound token here. And we get one NPC zombie. All right. Now we want to get over here pretty quick. So she's going to move and attack. So her next action is move, her third action is attack, she hits a six, she kills the zombie, she gets one experience. And her turn is done. Now I need somebody to come open the next door. And that's going to be Julian. He's going to go here, he has a hammer, he's going to try to break open that door, he'll have two attempts, hopefully he gets it in his first. Nope, let's try the second one. 
success. So now we have a noise here, and this room is opened, and now we have to spawn this entire area. I'm going to work my way around. So that was all three of his actions, and Julian is done. And he attacked that door twice, so there's more sound there. Now we're going to go ahead and spawn around the room. So here we're getting one NPC. Here we're going to get two NPCs. Look like my NPCs are clustered together. If I draw another couple NPC cards, I'm going to reshuffle. Okay, this is looking a little questionable. One. All right. I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle again. I'm getting a lot of NPCs. So. I'm okay if that's the way it was, but. Go ahead and just shuffle everything and start over. Alright, the first person I'm going to be activating is Isabel. She's going to break open the door. That's going to make one sound. She gets to do so for free because of her awesome acts. And now we're going to spawn for that room. We get one NPC zombie. So we're going to put an NPC at random there. And now we're going to try to kill it. She's going to move in. This is her first action. Sorry, her second action is to move in and attack. She misses. She fails to kill the zombie. Now we need to activate somebody that can get in there and kill it. We're going to activate Anne. She's going to bloodlust over. So she is done. Now we're activating Anne. Anne's going to try to kill that zombie. Four. She's successful. The zombie dies. She gets one experience. And she collects one zombie. She has two actions left. Her next action is to try to break down the door. She fails. She tries again. She fails, producing two sound. Julian's going to go next, and he's going to try to break open the door. Julian moves. That's his first action. Try to break down the door. Success. He breaks open the door. Now we have to spawn this entire area. So there have been three attempts in here, so there should be three noise. He still has one action left, so I'm going to leave his card here to remind me of that. We're going to spawn all the way around like that. One walker. Next room is going to be double spawn. So over here we get a troll abomination, which is nothing because we're in the blue branch. And three walkers. For this room, nothing in sight. For this room, one walker. For here, I'm going to get one runner. So we put a runner right in here. And that's all we got. So now we need to move forward. Julian's going to stay still. He's not going in. His turn is done. The next person we're activating is actually Genevieve. She's going to try to go pop that zombie. You know what? There's a whole lot of sound. Let's activate Ostakar. Ostakar is next. One action. And now he's going to try to torch this zombie. One. That's a fail. Try again. Six. Success. So he made two more noise in that area. And Ostakar is dead. And he killed this zombie, so it's gone. Um, Genevieve's going to go one, 
Oh, I spawned this building wrong. Alright, we're going to go back and start over yet again. Howdy. Tonight we're playing the Zombicide Black Plague again. The objectives? Oh. Howdy. Tonight we're playing the Zombicide Black Plague again. This time we're on Quest 9, the Hellhole. Objectives. Reach these objectives in any order to win the game. Gather them all... Howdy. Tonight we're playing Zombicide Black Plague again. This time we're on Quest 9, the Hellhole. Objectives. Reach these objectives in this order to win the game. Gather them all in one place. Get all the spawn zones on the board in the Hellhole, which is right here. 2. Call upon the dragon. Create dragon fire in the Hellhole. Special rules. That's the way we do alchemy. Each objective gives five experience to the survivor who takes it. It allows the player to look for the dragon bio in the equipment deck and give it to the survivor for free. If there are no dragon, bar, dragon bio cards in the equipment deck, look in the discard pile. Shuffle the equipment deck afterwards. Alright, so I'm going to try to make this mission pretty quick. My goal is to spawn this area, this area, and then kind of hold this area until I've killed the necromancers. The necromancers are going to have to path into the building this way and we're just going to wait for them and take them down as they spawn. And we're going to be searching a whole lot trying to find that dragon bile. Well, not the bile. The torch is the thing that's hard to find. But I don't want to pick up the objectives because this time I'm really going to try very hard to stay in the blue range. So I don't want to pick up those objectives. I don't want that five experience. Let's go ahead and get started and see how this thing comes out. All right, Isabel is going to pop the door. All right, now i got to spawn, and I'm going to go like, well, let's go here, 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 here. Or let's just snake around. These three, and then those three. So I'm going to try to spawn it like that. This is my first action. So let's see what we get there. One walker. What comes in this room? Two walkers. Let's see what's in this room. A necromancer. That's some pretty good luck. So we already got a necromancer on the board. Now we're going to go here, here, here. An abomator. We're still in blue, so nothing happens. So now we're here. A runner. Now we're here, and we get one walker. Alright, for her next action, she's going to move forward and attack this zombie. One, she misses. Alright, so now Anne's going to move over, and she's going to attack the zombie. This is a bloodlust action, so this was for free. She misses. She hits. On her second action, she kills the zombie. Let's go ahead and get Anne's card over here. and kills the zombie and gets one experience. For her third action, she's going to try to knock open this other door. She fails. She produces a sound when she tries to do so. All right. Ostakar is going to move in and try to blow up those two zombies. So she's going to take two shots. She gets one kill. Let's get her card over there. She gets one kill and she's used all three of her actions. Alright, next we're going to move Julian. He's going to try to break down the door. He moves forward. 
The stalker cast her spell twice, so she made two noise. So Julian's going to try to open the door. Fail. Try to open the door. Success. So Julian breaks open this door, spawns this entire area. Let's go ahead and get that done. Here we get nothing in sight. And Julian's going to be done. Um, here we get a double spawn. So here we have to pull two. When we pull two, we get an Obama troll, which doesn't do anything yet. And we get a fatty. So we get one fatty. Nothing in sight. Double spawn. That double spawn was there. All right. Here we get one walker. Here we get nothing in sight. The Obama troll isn't here yet because we're still in blue. Here we get one walker. Looks like I still need to spawn these three rooms. Two walkers. And over here we're going to get two NPCs at random. And over here we're going to get one walker. So in theory, if I play it highly careful, we can kill 30 things before anybody has to level. And our goal is to play it highly careful. So next we're going to activate Clovis. Clovis is going to move one, two, well, he's going to move right here, and then he's going to search, because I have to find a torch and a bile. So I'm not going to put Clovis over there, because, whoa, a bile! So that turned out pretty good. I would have rather have found the torch, because I can go pick up a bile whenever I want. But that's still pretty cool. So he's done. He's not going to move or do anything else. Genevieve's going to move forward, and she's going to shoot that walker over there. So she's the last person I have to go. Three. And she hits on a three or higher. She kills this walker. Oh, one thing we forgot to do was to spawn. I forgot to put down the spawn zone. So when I put down this spawn zone, oh, we have to get them all to the hellhole. So they have to spawn here, which is going to be a little annoying, but okay, we, we can deal. So I didn't, that's interesting. I forgot to spawn for his zone. I got ahead of myself. One walker. So there's a walker there as well. So Genevieve did her thing. She killed one zombie. That was her second action. For her third action, she's going to search. When she searches, she finds dragon bile. Are all the biles on top? Nope. There's something that's non-bile next. I was just making sure that I didn't get a bad shuffle. So we have two bottles. That's great. Still no torch. Now the zombies get to move. One, two. This is the fastest path there. These guys move here. One, two. One, 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 one. Now we do spawns. So let's start over here. We get one fatty. In here, we're going to get two spawns. We get one runner and two walkers. In the necros zone, we're going to get an abomator, so nothing. Over here, we're going to get a double spawn, so right back about round to the beginning. And I just don't want to pull a normal A-bomb yet. <sighs> normal A-bomb. So we already got an A-bomb on the field. So an A-bomb and one MPC. Alright, because I'm trying not to level up. But I might have to level up in order to kill that A-bomb. We, we just don't have to worry about that. That's a problem for another day. So the zombie's turn is done. First thing we have to do is we got to start dealing with some of this stuff that's on us. So we're going to go ahead and activate my axe wielder. She's going to go ahead and attack the runner. 
sorry, I'm using noise tokens to mark what, who's moved and who's, who hasn't. So we're going to attack the runner, miss, attack the runner, hit, so she gets one kill. And now she's going to search. Salted meats. She's going to put that in her bag. She doesn't want experience. All right, my next character that's going to go is Genevieve. She's going to try to put down that necromancer from range. So first attack, she kills a walker. She gets one experience. Next attack, she attacks the necro. She misses. She attacks the necro again. She gets a three. She kills it. She is now at three experience. She needs to slow down. I was hoping she would get to search, but she didn't get to. All right, next person that's going to go is Hostakar. And Hostakar is going to shoot at this cell twice. I forgot to clear my noise tokens from last turn. She's going to shoot at that cell twice, making two noise. Hits once. And then she's going to search. Crossbow. Two damage. Nice. If she gives that to Genevieve, Genevieve can take that abomination now. So that's great. Um, Anne's going to search. She finds a torch. We're in great shape. Oh, and we killed that necromancer? We're going to take this zone and put it right here. Oh, we get to get rid of a zone. Yeah, when we get to get rid of a zone, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. we got to kill necros here. So we have to get to that point. So... I want the Necros to spawn there, or to come there. <sighs> We're going to try to make this happen. So, Anne searched. She found a torch. And now she's going to go ahead and bloodlust into this cell and attack twice. we got to start cleaning house. Ooh, four and six. She kills two zombies. One, two. Julian has not went. So Julian's going to move forward. And Clovis is going to move forward. When Julian move forward, moves forward, he searches. He finds a torch. I'm getting lucky with torches and stuff, but I don't really need them yet. Because i got to get all the spawn zones there. When Clovis searches, he finds Repulse. That could be useful. We could push the Necro where we want him. Or push things away. So we're all there. Somebody's going to end up getting bit. But now it's time for the zombies to move. So, fatty moves, fatty move, walkers move, walkers move, walkers move. The runner's going to move here and bite somebody. He's got to bite somebody, and it's going to take the bite. All these guys move here. We don't have to worry about where they're going to split yet, because there's only one path. Next turn, we have to worry about that. All right. Now we have to run spawns. So when we run spawns, we run here, 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 here. The first spawn is one NPC. The second spawn is a runner. And also in that room is nothing. So one runner. That's not too bad. Way over here, we're looking for a necro. Extra activation, all fatties. But we're not in that range yet. So a stock R gets a free activation. She's going to attack the zombie near her. Five, she kills it. And then she moves into this cell. Oh, with her free activation, she's going to search. So when she searches, she finds apples. She puts them in her bag. And she got one experience, taking her to three. She was at two. Now she's at three. She found apples. For her third action, she's going to move down here with everybody else. All right, now I believe we've run all our spawns. We're back to the player turn.
So I think I'm probably going to end up leveling, and I really don't want to. Um, we're going to have to be very careful on how we do this. All right. So my girl with the axe can afford to gain experience. But I don't want to stop the searching. Well, I do have two torches. So. Oh, Julian has the torch in his offhand. I don't know why I set it in his bag. There's no reason for it not to be in his offhand. Um, so she's going to move forward and attack twice. She misses both times. And Isabel is now done. Ostakar is going to go ahead and activate, and he's going to shoot the runner first, and then that cell. So let's shoot at the runner. Miss. Let's shoot at the runner. Miss. Let's shoot at the runner. Hit. Ostakar kills the runner and is now at four experience. All right. Genevieve is going to move forward. So her first action is move forward, trade with Ostakar to get the crossbow. Now she can do three damage. And that was her second action. Now she will shoot at this cell using the short bow. Six success. She now has four experience. And we're cleaning things up some. There are a lot of zombies on that cell. I think one of them is a fatty. So I need to deal with that fatty. I need to know the fatty's dealt with. So how I'm going to do that is Julian's going to activate and kill the fatty before anybody else goes. So Julian, we need you to kill that fatty. Miss. Hit. Julian kills the fatty, gets one experience. And then he swings again and misses. But he did his job. He killed the fatty. All right, the next person to activate is going to be Anne. She's going to attack all three times in this cell. Two hits. So Anne gets two kills. One, two. And two of these go away. She's going to kill the two NPCs so she can start trying to work on finding a relic. I only got one person left, and he's got to do a lot of killing. Luckily, he doesn't have any experience yet. So Clovis is going to activate. He gets four attacks with his swords. He hits twice, two go away, and he gets two experience. One, two. All right, now he attacks again. Oh, I get four attacks. Miss, miss. So he hit once, so he kills another one. So now he's at three experience. For his final attack, he really needs to kill that walker. And success. There's a four in there. Bam. So he killed four people this turn. He has four experience. The players are done. And we did clean house. That was pretty good. All right. Zombies have to go. There's only one path to get there. They go here, here. Now we spawn zombies, same way we did here. One, two, three, four. First zone is an abomination, which is nothing right now. These two zones are going to be, come on, be a necro. Nothing in sight, nothing in sight. And way over here, at least it's not a necro, I'm happy about that, is a runner. I think we're going to leave it like this, make them channel all the way around to us. All right, for the player's turn... It would be nice to have some more stuff. Everybody's going to move one forward. Is that, is that a smart move? I really don't know. I don't want to be trapped in here with something we can't kill. So everybody's going to search once. The person who's searching last is Clovis and Lou. So let's get our Ostakar searches and find the torch. Uh, Isabel searches, finds more bile, I'm getting lots of bile. She puts it in her offhand. Um, Genevieve searches. Those cards were in the wrong stack for some reason. Genevieve searches, she finds cloth armor. 
That was her action. She gives that to Clovis. Clovis equips it. Now we're to Anne. Anne searches. She finds a shield. She gives that. It's got to go in one of the hands. So she searches. She finds two cards. More dragon bile. So that wasn't a great shuffle. She puts the shield and the bile. She puts the shield in her offhand. She puts the bile and torch in her bag. I'm just running through these quickly. Clovis searches. He finds a torch. Oh, he has a torch, so he finds two things. A torch and plenty of arrows. He puts both in his bag. Well, no, he hands the torch to Genevieve as a second action. That way she has a torch to, sort, to search with. And he hands the plenty of arrows to Genevieve. She puts it in her bag. Clovis is my final person to search, and he gets healing, which I was really hoping to get healing. And he's going to give that to Isabel. And now my turn's done. All I did was search. The zombies get to activate. Move forward, move forward, move forward. We have to spawn zombies. So same order that we've been spawning before. A walker in the building. We're going to get... Oh, this one. I didn't... I pulled two at the same time. I shouldn't have done that. Let's say one to three, that was the double spawn. Aw, oh, the double spawn's going over here. So we get two walkers in the building. And we're going to get two spawns over there. Don't let it be a necro. An abomination, good. And two NPCs. So that's really good. All right, and we're done. Now we're back to the player's turn. We have healing, which is one of the things I wanted. So I think we're pretty good. So I think... Who's got Genevieve's going to search and then use her bow twice? She's going to be the first person to activate. She searches. She finds water. She puts it in her bag. And I can re-roll misses with bows, so... I don't think I'm going to have any trouble killing these two guys. 3-3, three, three, that's a hit, hit. She gets two more experience. She's at six. She can't kill anything else. Oh, when she searched, see, sir, she should have got two cards because she has the torch. So she gets a long bow. Doesn't seem any better. Oh, it's got better range. She equips the long bow, throws the normal bow in her bag. All right. Oh, stock are. Now I'm just going to do my searches again. So Ostakar gets two searches, finds speed and shield, put both in her bag. Uh, Isabel's going to search. She finds water. Genevieve already went. Anne searches. Doesn't have a torch. Oh, Anne equips her torch because she put it in her bag for some reason. And she searches twice. Finds these two items. And then she gives the axe over to Isabel. Isabel takes off the bile, puts it in her bag. Now Isabel is dual wielding axes. All right. Clovis searches. He's not holding a torch. He finds a dagger. That's cool. He puts it in his bag. I don't know who I'd want. Oh, I give the dagger to Julian. Julian's only going to be searching once now because he has the... Oh, no, he doesn't. He can hold the dagger in his inventory slot. And Julian will search twice. He's probably going to get a ah. That was right. Ah. But now I have lightning bolt that I can hand to. Why is lightning bolt better? It's got better range. Okay, he hands lightning bolt to Ostakar. And ah, there's a zombie on his square. Oh no, he doesn't hand that stuff out yet. He holds on to lightning because he's got to try to kill that zombie that just spawned. So he holds on to lightning in his bag. He might trade if he can succeed in killing the zombie that just spawned. No. Let's try again. Success. Julian is now at two experience. Sorry, the game's not... There's not a whole lot going on, so I'm just kind of running through these turns pretty quick. So now we're to the enemy turn. They move forward, they move forward, they move forward. All right, we're done. Now we do spawns. We're really hoping for a necro in the center building. Way over here we get one walker. All right, way over here we get, oh, sorry, these two we get. Come on, 
Yes, Necro! Alright, so that's here. Please let the next one be a Necro. One extra activation, all standard walkers. So, she's going to, Ostakar is going to go ahead and take her free turn. And with her free turn, she's going to go ahead and shoot that Necro. Five, success. She kills him. She makes a little noise, I believe, with Mana Blast. That was her first action. Her next action is to search. She finds a great sword, which she throws in her bag. And she also finds a repeating crossbow, which she doesn't need either. She puts that in her bag. For her final action, she's good. Okay. I forgot when the Necro spawned here to go ahead and spawn immediately for him. So let's go ahead and do that before I move on to that last spawn. A Necromancer? Oh my gosh, this is so lucky. Um, but I've already taken her attack. She did an attack. Uh, she, that guy should have already been out. But she already did the search. I don't want to take that back. So I'm going to go ahead and do an attack on the other one. Three, miss. But I'm going to close this one off. Now this becomes permanent. I'm almost there. I think I'm going to win the game the next turn. Okay. Let's go ahead and spawn the final spawn zone. Oh no, she got to close that spawn zone before we had to spawn for it. Because her turn came before the activations. So we're good. Now we move into the player's turn. And let's see, who has a torch and fire? All right, Ostakar, no, let's see. Genevieve's got a torch, and we'll let Julian get the kills. So Genevieve is going to use her big crossbow. No, she's going to use her bow because she can re-roll with plenty of, oh, we have plenty of bolts. She's going to be using her crossbow. So hit. She kills the Necromancer. She gets an experience. We are now in the yellow range, but we don't care. Because, oh, we forgot to spawn the extra. I am sorry, guys. I'm not on it with the Necros. There should have been a spawn zone here for the Necro. So he's not dead. So I rolled a four, I believe. There was something that spawned here. Let's find out what it was. Another Necro. That means on his next turn, he would have been able to double activate. But he can't, because he's dead. So that did happen. It play all played out right. We'll go ahead and flip this, and we'll close this one. All right, for the final turn, she's in yellow now. She has plus one attack, although it doesn't matter because the game is over. We're going to activate Julian. Julian is going to equip the vial. That's his first action. His second action is he's going to throw the vial. For his third action, he's going to throw the torch. Oh, wait, that's not the one with fire. That's the one that has a back of a portal. Boom! And we burn out all the zones, and this mission is done. It was nice to have an easy mission for once. I like it. Uh, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great night. Howdy. Howdy. You may know the board. Uh, you may. Howdy. This is a re-record of my final turn. I have. I'll have the original posted in the comments below. Um, I won, but in my, the original video, the turn appeared pretty sloppy. So I'm rerunning the turn to show you how it went. Um, I've stacked the cord. Howdy. This is going to be a re-record of my final turn. Um, in my final turn, I did win, but I played the cards in a little bit of a sloppy order, and in the sloppy order, there would have been a mistake. So 
you can watch the final turn. Um, howdy. This is a re-record of my final turn. Um, it's, it's a really amazing turn. Um, you can see the... Howdy. This is a re-record of my final turn. Um, the original turn came out a little bit sloppy and it looks like I messed some stuff up. But it turns out it all comes out in the wash. I've stacked the cards in the exact same order they were in the original. And if you want to see my original final turn, uh, you can get a link to that in the comments below. Um, I have it listed as uh, I have it as an unlisted video, so it's not going to come up in my normal video search. But since this is a re-record of the final turn, if you want to see how the final turn went, where I messed up the card order a little bit, you're welcome to watch it. Howdy. All right, so I'm back. Um, right. I'm back. I'm doing a re-record of my final turn. If you want to see the original of the final turn, um, you can find a link to it down below my comments. Uh, I put it as unlisted, so you'll have to use the link to get to that video. Um, just when I did the final turn, a couple things came out pretty sloppy. Um, I did win, and when you look at when you look at this turn, howdy! I'm re-recording my final turn because it came out pretty sloppy. I'm going to put a link to my final, the original of my final turn, down in the comments. The video is going to be unlisted, but it felt so sloppy. I wanted everybody to see what was really going on with that turn. I did actually win both in that final video and I will win on this turn because I would have to play really poorly to not to win. But I wanted y'all to see how everything comes out. <clears throat> Howdy. This is a re-record of my final turn. If you want to see the original, it's linked down below in my comments. It's an unlisted video, so the only place you can reach it is by having the link that's below in my comments. Uh, when I recorded my final turn originally, uh, it played out kind of sloppy, and I just really wanted a better, cleaner uh, demonstration of that final turn. So let's go. I've, I've stacked the cards exactly like they were in the original of my final turn. And howdy. This is a re-record of my final turn. The original uh, iteration of my final turn can be found in the... Howdy. This is a re-record of my final turn. The original final turn can be found in the, can be found as a link in the comments section below this video. It's unlisted um, because I really didn't want it showing up in my main feed. Howdy. This is going to be a re-record of my final turn when I watch through the end of my turn. When I watched through my final turn, it came out very sloppy. Uh, it all works. I do win. Uh, but it's a little hard to follow, so I'm re-recording the final turn. If you want to see the original version of my final turn, uh, I'm putting a link to it below this video. All right, so let's go through. The cards are stacked in exactly the same order. I will have to roll a couple things, which the rolls might come out differently. Um, but it would be really hard for the dice to fight me on what's about to happen. So let's go through and see how it should have played out. All right, first thing we pulled was one walker. So we get one walker over on the spawn zone. Next, we pull a necromancer here. The necromancer spawns. He immediately creates a spawn zone. And what I did in the original video, I actually gave that next spawn over to here and that's why it came out a little bit sloppy. So immediately when this necro spawns, the necro zone spawns. And that would have produced an immediate one extra activation. We're still in blue, so nobody activates, but Ostakar gets a free turn. And Ostakar was at five experience, I believe. So now Ostakar has to make an attack She's going to use her ranged attack, Mana Blast, and blow up this room. She attacks, she succeeds, just like she did last time. She makes one sound, and the Necromancer dies. 
When I choose to close a point, I chose to close this one, making this one permanent. Now, she performs a search, and I forgot to put the cards back on the search deck, but when she performs a search, she found the great sword, followed by the repeating crossbow. And she gets one experience, and she ends her turn. That was her free turn. Now we have to do spawns for the remaining zone. We go here. We get a spawn of a necromancer. He gets a spawn. That necromancer spawn generates one NPC. So now we have an NPC here. And we have finished spawning for the entire zombie turn. Now it's the player's turn. The first person I'm going to activate is Genevieve with her longbow. Sorry. So, first person I'm going to activate is Genevieve using her longbow. She's going to shoot three times at that cell. She gets two kills, getting her two experience, bringing her to eight experience. She now has a free action, which she is not going to use. When I close out this necro zone, sorry, when I kill the necro, I get to close out a zone. I close out this zone over here. This flips. All four of the spawns are here now. Genevieve has finished her turn. Julian's going to take his turn, and he will equip the dragon vial and put up the hammer. That's his first action. For his next action, he throws the dragon vial into this cell, discarding the dragon vial. Next, he throws the torch into that cell, exploding all the spawn zones in the hell pit and winning the game. All right. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see the original, right. if you want again, if you want to see the original of this turn, um, please check the comments below, and you'll be able to watch the cards played out. They come out in the same order, but again, the turn felt really, or that turn felt really sloppy, so I really wanted to re-record it. And thank you, thank you for watching.